but she's been obsessed with Cole for a while. So this whole time we thought Eli had Star and Hope, but you're telling me Hannah O'Connor had it. Do the police know where they were being held no, at all? No, the police are playing catch up because James Ford and his brother convinced Langston here not to get the cops involved. James isn't gonna let anything happen to Star or Hope. Really? If everything's so hunky-dory, then how come James is not answering his phone? You can't reach him? Well, I've called him and I've left him a million messages. I'm sure he'll call me back any minute. Right. Remember. <laughs> I was so afraid I was never gonna see you again. I thought my life was over. Mommy. Oh, I thought so too. Mommy. <laughs> But we somehow made it back home to you. <laughs> I missed you and your mommy so much. She missed you too. She kept calling out for you. <laughs> mommy. I heard her. <laughs> I swear, I'd, I'd lie there in the dark and, and, and I'd hear her crying and I wanted so bad to make it stop. It's okay. It's okay. We're home now and that's all that matters. Mommy. I promise? I promise this is really happening that it's not just a dream. Belong and no one is ever going to take us away from you again. Okay, can I get you some food or something? No. Uh, we had something to eat on the way here. Poor Hope. She was living off of the snacks out of my bag. You would have been so proud of her. I... She was. She was so brave. I am proud. Both of you. But, Star, what you went through, you never should have gone through that. Please. I don't want to talk about Sorry, it. Sorry, but I should have been there. Sorry, I should have been, I should have been there to stop this nightmare from happening in the first place. We've both made mistakes. Right, well, mine almost destroyed us. Cold. No, no. Hey, Star, look at me, I need to say this. All the time when you were gone. And every night I would pray. Sorry, please look at me. I would pray that you and Hope would come back okay. I would pray that you guys would come back to me. So I would have done anything. I would have paid any price. So if that price is that you never want to see me again. No. And we're staying here, okay? And I'm gonna spend the rest of my life trying to deserve it. So I swear, I will never let anyone come between us again. Not Hannah, not anyone. I don't think we have to worry about Hannah anymore. Is she really the one who... Please have her now. She is never coming near us ever again. Not if I have anything to do with it. What are you talking about? And call James again. Blair, I don't think that's going to make a difference about. Hello? Langston, it's me. Oh my God, James, are you okay? I'm fine. Well, where have you been? I've tried calling you a million times. Why haven't you picked up? Yeah, I was uh, kind of buried for a while. Look, I've got great news. I found Star and Hope. Oh, yeah, I knew it. I knew you'd find them. Are they okay? Yeah, they're safe. What about Bobby? Is he all right? Yeah, yeah, your brother's fine. And Star and Hope are fine, too. Oh, God. <laughs> I could have stayed in that shower for a week. I'm surprised you didn't fall asleep on your feet. Too happy to be home. 
How about Hope? She's so excited to get back to her bed. Mm. Yeah, I stood there for a while and watched her sleep. Has she always been this beautiful? Pretty much. I came so close to losing you both. Hey, I thought we said we weren't going to talk about that. I know you don't want to get into it tonight, and, and we don't have to, but there's just so much that I don't know, like how you even ended up with Hannah. Eli Clark got hurt, so um, we had to go to the clinic. I saw an opportunity to get away, it grabbed Hope, and I locked us in a room, and then I called you. But you called me? No, I, I, I didn't even... No, I know. Um, Hannah picked up the phone. God. She said that she was going to get you, but she came instead. Sorry, I had no idea. I should I should have known. Hey, look, I should have too. I shouldn't have trusted her to begin with, but she turned out to be even sicker than I thought. She would have done anything to get rid of me and Hope so that she could have you. Well, she came to her senses, right? She let you go? She tried to kill us. And she would have, if it hadn't been for... For what? James. Hey, there's one. When James said that Star and Hope were okay, did he mean okay is in considering the circumstance, or okay is in okay? Uh, I'm sorry, what was the question? Are they coming here to the hospital? No, 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 they're fine. They went home, a cop. Escorted them back to the apartment. Oh, please, God. My baby's wrong. I know, I'm safe. I can't believe it either. Well, it's good enough for me. I'm out of here. I know that you're excited to see them, but Star would want you to get checked out first. Okay, you know she oh, would. I would, too. I would love to be checked out, but obviously there's a shortage of doctors oh, here tonight. Five minutes. Just sit down. Oh, five minutes more. That's it. In the meantime, you can tell us a little bit more about what happened. Now, do they know where Star and Hope were being held? Can't we all just enjoy the good news for a while? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I don't know where Hannah was keeping them, but I know that she was going to, um... What? What? She wasn't going to let Star come home. She wanted to get rid of her permanently. <sighs> that girl should have never been released from St. Anne's. What were they thinking, releasing her? Well, maybe we should ask our friendly neighborhood quack who signed off on it. Do you invite a psycho into your home and then leave him unsupervised to run out and kill people, huh? Well, look at Eli. What? No, I'm serious. I mean, some sociopaths are so good at pretending to be normal. Even trained professionals My can My daughter almost lost her life, Kelly. Excuse me if I don't give Marty Saybrook the benefit of the doubt. Okay, but Hannah had us all fooled. Me, Cole... Excuse so me? Are you or Cole a doctor? No, you're not. But Marty is, Langston, and she should know better. She should have stayed at St. Anne's. In fact, you know what? I think Marty should go spend a couple of days at St. Anne's. Maybe a lifetime. I took that shovel and I slammed it down on Hannah and it was finally the only thing that, that could stop her. So Hannah was gonna bury you. Just like she made me bury James. I just can't believe that he held his breath long enough to get out. I'm just glad he did. Sorry, I should have been there. I should have been there before any of that started. God. Sounds like you had your own private nightmare. Only I couldn't get out. And I was having a different nightmare. Thinking that you died in that explosion. What explosion? That's right. You don't know. Well... Eli called your father and asked him to come to this warehouse and, and deliver a ransom for you and, and Hope and Danny. You no, know, the, the police, the, the police that brought me home, he said that Danny was okay. She is okay, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, no, Dan Danny got out in time. But everyone thought that you and Hope were still in that warehouse. And Eli, he uh, set off the bomb and the warehouse went up into smoke and we all thought that... Cole, I am so sorry. So I thought Eli had killed you and our daughter. And... 
I lost it. I, I, I went crazy, and that's why. Why what? I, uh, I, I, I did something. I grabbed a gun. No. No, I shot, I shot him. I killed him. Money's 